I've seen the question, what does Apple's Keynote app actually do? And today, I wanna to help you get an answer to that question. The first thing is, in its most basic form, Keynote is Apple's presentation software. It makes great presentations you can give on screen in front of a live audience in person. It also has a powerful set of presenter tools to help you behind the scenes when you give your presentation. Current slide, next slide, notes, a clock, a timer, even an indicator to show you whether your animations have finished on screen or not. You can also easily use Keynote's play in window option to send your presentation to online meetings like Zoom or Teams. And even in there, it still gives you a simplified version of the presenter controls that you can see on your screen while you're leading these online meetings. You can also create a presentation in Keynote for a digital signage solution. You set it up and play it through an iPad or Apple TV, and now you have something that's playing on its own for you. You can export your slides. There's a lot of options here. So you can choose a PDF, and then all your fonts and graphics and layouts are exactly the way they're supposed to be. This is really helpful when you're getting feedback from other people. Most of us work with people who use Microsoft PowerPoint, so you can export your Apple Keynote presentation as a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, so those Windows friends can open the file on their computer as well. You can also export your presentation as a movie, which is great for an explainer video or for, for, for professors, teachers, or students, or business professionals who need to share a presentation in a video format. If you choose to do that, there's a wide variety of settings for what kind of video file it is, to the amount of size it takes up and its quality. You can also have some fun and use Keynote as a tool to make GIFs. And then you can choose the settings to export it just the way you want it to, what slides are gonna be part of that, and whether or not you even have a transparent background. It's also a very basic and good graphic design tool. Think of your slides like the place you're working on your image, and when you're done, you can export it in one of five different image formats with different settings, including a transparent background. One of the most powerful, I would say, hidden aspects of Apple Keynote is what's possible when you simply choose print. There's a bunch of different templates and layouts set in here. I often use this to create a document that gives me my pre-formatted PDF handout with slides, presenter notes, slide numbers, and more, so I can review my presentation even when I'm not at my computer. And those friends of yours who use Microsoft PowerPoint send you a PowerPoint file, well, Keynote can actually open and allow you to not just view, but even edit text, images, animations, and more. One quick note, whether you're opening and receiving or sending Keynote to PowerPoint, you run into the same kind of things you do when you share files with people on their computers. Do you have the same fonts? Do all the animations and transitions match? So check it all out. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but it's a very close feature that works. Keynote's also a great tool for storyboarding. Whether you're using a storyboard to prepare your next presentation, or you're playing an animation or video project. I've even created a specific storyboard theme that can be used and I've linked it in your video description below. Speaking of that, even though Apple created the Pages app for documents and Keynote for presentations, Keynote can make a great document creation tool, especially with page layout and US letter, A4, or whatever custom page size you want to make. One of the advantages is you can choose show object list and now every element on your screen or page is now viewable in a layered level, which is not available in Apple's pages. When you're giving a presentation and you need to share it with somebody, you have a feature for live video, either while you're presenting or especially for teachers and students, you can record this and then share the presentation with that video built in to go along with your slides. And if you don't own a Mac or an iPad, you can use iCloud on a web browser and you can open, view, create, and edit Keynote files. Keynote's also a great collaborative tool, whether you're using a Mac or a Windows machine, whether you're working in the iCloud browser or on your device itself, you can work together with your team to create the best presentation possible. And earlier I mentioned the power of the presenter tools in Keynote. This expands exponentially when you connect multiple displays. I've got my MacBook Pro connected to three different displays and it allows me to set each of them up exactly the way I want it. One of them is simply going to be for the audience to see, whether it's through a projector or an LED uh, setup. And then a second display just for me shows me what the audience is seeing along with a clock, a timer, 
and a colored bar that indicates where the animations and transitions are done for this slide. On my MacBook itself, I set it up to simply show me the next slide that's coming up as a quick reminder of where I'm going in that presentation. And then I use an Elgato prompter and on there, I have just my presenter notes. So I have some bullet points and script to help me out as I'm presenting. Once they're all set up, they look something like this. I've got exactly the content I want on each screen ready to go. Do I always have four screens for a presentation? No, but when you get the luxury of a setup like this, you can customize it through Keynote just how you want. And there's so much more help and ideas on Apple's Keynote support pages, which I've linked in the video description below. So what do you think? That's a lot of stuff that Keynote can do. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see a video about. I have some on Keynote for digital signage and a lot on it as a presentation tool, but there's so much more I've talked about today. Your idea in the comments just might help spark the next video I create. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon.